Believe it or not, there is something rather high-tech going on here. At first glance, this may look like my Seiko Alpinist on a new brown leather strap. But there's something a little different with this particular strap. Something that lies just beneath the surface. I'm Shane, this is Relative Time, and today we're going to talk about this strap, which is part of the Timex Pay collection. Which is pretty much what it sounds like, as it gives you a new convenient way to pay for things. You basically sync up a credit card to a chip that's within this strap, and you can use it to pay for things anywhere you see the contactless payment symbol. It's very similar to how smartwatches, or say mobile phones, can be used to pay for things these days. Except this gives you the ability to add that to any ordinary watch, or at least any ordinary watch you can attach this strap to. And as you can see here, I attached it to my Seiko Ghost Alpinist. Now, because of this channel, I do try to keep up with new and interesting things in the industry. And evidently, these straps were released sometime during the summer, and I completely missed it. The only reason I found out about this whole thing was because I was perusing Timex's site for their Black Friday sale. And I saw something that said Timex Pay and got curious. And as someone who is a bit of a techie, I was curious enough to buy one just to check it out. At the moment, Timex only has a handful of different straps that have this ability, and there are a few watches as well that come with these straps. They're also a bit pricey. No matter what strap you're looking at, they all cost 50 bucks. And I'm the first one to tell you that this strap right here is not a $50 strap. If anything, it's more like a $25 strap with a bit of technology and some convenience thrown in. Now, I can already hear some of you questioning just how much more convenient can this be than just whipping out your wallet and pulling out a credit card. And to be honest, not much. But the thing is, I said the exact same thing when I first heard you could use a cell phone to pay for things. I thought it was kind of silly and pointless, but then I tried it and I found myself using it more and more to pay for things. And to be perfectly honest, I had some fun trying this out for the last week and got quite a few strange looks when I was putting the back of the strap next to the credit card machine as the cashiers all realized that this wasn't an Apple Watch. All right, so let me quickly go over this specific strap and then we'll talk more about the experience and how it all works. Since these straps are a little pricey, I decided to order the one that I thought would be the most versatile which was this brown leather number, as I was gonna test this on a couple of different watches over a period of time. And thankfully it does have quick release straps, which also helps in swapping it out to a different watch. Now the strap itself is only genuine leather, but it has a nice texture to it, as well as some nice flexibility from the get-go. And on the rear, you can also see SB Foot Tanning Company, which is based out of Red Wing, Minnesota, and is actually part of Red Wing Boots. And for longtime viewers, you might recognize that this is a little bit of a full circle to my very first review, which was a Timex that also had a strap by SB Foot Tanning Company. So Timex has had a collaboration with them for a while now as a source for good leather for the straps. The strap here is a little thinner than I like, and it's also developed a bit more wear marks than I like in a short period of time. But I think the two kind of go hand in hand. Although the important thing is that it's actually pretty comfortable to wear. And a lot of that is due to that flexibility, as well as a slight taper going from 20 to 18 where you get to the buckle. So I'd say it's a good strap, and I actually like wearing it. It's just that it's not a $50 good strap. Now as long as you're relatively tech savvy, this isn't very hard to set up, and pretty similar to setting up Google Pay or Apple Pay if you've used those. The bad news, however, is that it does have its own specific app and you are going to have to download that app in order to use it. And I should also point out that as of right now, these only work with credit or debit cards issued through Chase Bank. Maybe they'll expand it out in the future, but right now you're stuck with Chase. The one thing that surprised me is that the strap also came with this weird dongle clip reader writer thing. Now the first thing you do when you set this up is turn the strap over. And you can see these little error marks and the contactless payment mark on the back of the strap. And that's where you attach this little clip thing, right in between those arrow marks. After that, you plug the dongle into any USB power source, and it's then able to talk to your phone to complete the rest of the process wirelessly. Now, you obviously have to create an account with the Timex Pay system. And after that, you just add your credit card to it. And this is what takes the longest amount of time. 
as it seems to be going back and forth with Chase Bank just to verify you are who you say you are. Once that's done, it then syncs up the chip and the strap to your credit card and you're pretty much good to go. In order to use it while wearing it, you just bring this top half of the strap close to the credit card reader where you see the contactless payment. And that's pretty much it. And once you do sync up your credit card to the strap, the app also lets you know that it's not actually putting your real credit card number on the strap. Rather, encodes it with some sort of proxy number that's then connected to your account. So this way, in case you happen to lose your watch, you don't have to get a whole new credit card. And along the same lines, you can also suspend or even delete that card off the strap just by using the app. So on the off chance you happen to lose your watch, it's pretty easy to remove your financial information off it. And a whole lot easier than, say, replacing your watch. And I think for us watch geeks, we're probably more inclined to lose our wallet before we wind up losing our watch. The app will also show you, as well as notify you if you want, any of the financial transactions that have happened using the chip in your strap which could come in handy if you decide to buy one of these for your kids. So I've been using this over the past week and haven't had a problem with it. It's simple, easy to use, as well as being a bit convenient. And to someone who's a bit of a techie, I really like the idea of this, as I think that contactless payment feature is one of the coolest things when it comes to smartwatches, and it gives you the ability to add that to any watch you actually own. And as a watch collector with a lot of watches, that's something I really like. And over the last week, I've been running around paying for stuff with my Alpinist, as well as another new watch I got. Now, other than price, I think the biggest issue is that it's all tied to one specific strap. But I could see myself putting this strap specifically on something if I think it might be useful for that particular day, or even taking the strap along on vacation. In fact, I could even see myself buying a second silicon version just for holidays where I'll be hanging out at the pool or the beach a majority of the time. It's easy, comfortable, and convenient. Although, to be fair, on most days, it's not much harder just to whip out a wallet and pull out a card and use that. And I think that is really the Achilles heel to the system at this price, as it's convenient, but it's not that much more convenient than what you'd normally do. When you're talking about Google or Apple Pay on your cell phone, Typically, you already own your phone, and you just have to turn that feature on. Whereas here, you have to buy a $50 strap just to get that ability. And for a lot of people, that just may not be worth it. So now the big question, would I recommend it? And that's a tricky one, and I think it depends on who you are. If you're not a big watch collector, or maybe you just happen to stumble across this video because you're curious about these straps, then I would recommend it. They are a little pricey, but not terribly so. And if this strap is any indication, then I think they all should be pretty good and comfortable to wear. It winds up giving you the ability to add one of the best features of a smartwatch to any watch you own. So if you're interested in it, I'd say go for it. However, if you're a watch geek with a large collection of watches, like say me, then it may not be worth it. Unless you happen to wear the same watch to work or maybe to the gym, that may be a different story. But if you're like me and you're not consistently wearing the same watch throughout the week, and you may go through a couple of watches through that period of time, the convenience for paying for things could be overridden by the inconvenience of having to swap the strap out to different watches a couple of times a week. You could always buy multiple straps and then all sync them up to your account, but after a while that could get pricey. However, for us watch geeks, there may be another use here, as I think these Timex Pay straps could make a great present to the non-watch obsessed people in your life. Because once again, if you're like me, you like giving watch related gifts, but not everyone appreciates having a lot of watches. So something like this could make a great gift and could go along with something that you gave someone previously. As it's still watch related, but it's a bit techy and adds some nice convenience to people's lives. One of the people that gave me a strange look when I used this to pay for something was my wife, because she didn't have any idea what it was. But once I explained it to her, she actually thought it was a good idea and wanted to know more. And that is a bit unusual when it comes to watch related stuff. So I think that's a good indication that normal people will like it. And since this is Timex, keep an eye on Amazon and other local retail stores, as they may have them in stock and the prices may eventually drop. And if they do, that makes it an even better idea.
And that wraps it up for today. Now, as always, let me know down below what you think about this Timex Pay system, and especially if it's something you might consider getting for yourself or as a gift. And as always, you guys know what to do down below. I'm Shane. This is Relative Time. See you next time.